So here we're asked how much larger is the volume of this prism than this prism here. So let's bring in what we know about volume of prisms. Well, volume is a measure of the length times the width times the height of a rectangular prism. Because a rectangular prism is three-dimensional, we will have three different variables, length, width, and height. All right, so let's look at prism M. Here we can see that the length is this distance here, 30 centimeters. The width, I guess, is this distance here, which is 20 centimeters. And the height is this distance here, which is 20, also 20 centimeters. So let's say the volume of prism M, we put these values into our equation, so the length is 30, the width is 20, and the height is 20. Now what I haven't done yet is include the units, but we can't forget about them. The important thing here is that all the units are of the same type, so they're all measured in centimeters, so that's what we want. So let's go ahead and do the multiplication. So if I wanted to multiply 30 by 20, I could just multiply the 3 by the 2 first and get 6, and then add the two zeros. Then I continue, and I multiply the 600 by the 20. I can multiply the 6 by the 2, which is 12, and then add to the end the three zeros. So the volume of prism M is going to be 12,000 centimeters cubed. Now let's look at prism T. Here we have a length along here, which is 50 centimeters. The width, I guess, is this unit right here, which is 5 centimeters. And the height is 20 centimeters. So let's figure out the volume of T. And that would be 50 times 5 times 20. Now, because I'm multiplying these all together, I don't have to multiply the 50 by the 5 first. I could multiply the 50 by the 20 first. I might do that. So 5 times 2 is 10, and then add the two zeros, and then don't forget about the 5. And then when we multiply this out, 1,000 times 5 is just the 1 times 5, which is 5 times, and add the three zeros at the end. And here our volume for prism T would be 5,000 centimeters cubed. So now we have enough information to answer the question. So how much larger is the volume of prism M? Well, to figure that out, we take the volume of prism M, 12,000 centimeters cubed, subtract the volume of, of prism T, 5,000 centimeters cubed. And when we do the math, we do the subtraction here. 0 minus 0 is 0, 0, 0. And then 12 minus 5 is 7. So prism uh, M is 7,000 centimeters cubed larger than prism T. And therefore, the second option here is the right answer.